an LED digital watch. One of these ones that you push the front and it displays the time. Now, I'm not sure if it's actually even going to show, um, so I'll hold it up to the camera um, and I shall push the button again and it fills up the display, displays the time, 12.40, that's 12.40 a.m. Yes, I am up quite late, as usual. Then it does its wee pattern and uh, they go out. And this was something like 99 pence from eBay, um, one of the Chinese sellers. I just added it onto an order because I thought it was quite interesting and wanted to take it to bits. There's a surprise. So um, let's take it to bits. I was looking at the side. I initially thought that... Uh, Maybe the back of this just picked out, uh, but it doesn't. It appears to have wee pins going through. And a wee tentative exploration earlier showed that the pins are crimped on one side, so if you try pushing them in with a pin pusher and they don't really go in too easily, they will go in, but they, they're easier from one side than the other. Um, <clears throat> make sure you're not pushing the crimped section through. I'm not sure why it's crimped. Maybe it's, it's used to crimp it or... I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, there's two pins and you push them through from the side and then you grab a pair of pliers and you pull the pins out like this. And that releases this plastic housing which holds the module in place and the module is just a loose freestanding module. And now that I've uh, pulled it out, it's got a wee metal springy bit on top and when you press it you can see the sort of the LEDs are, look, just look very sharp and pointy in that because um, they've not got the diffusing material in the front. If I get a bit of uh, paper or something like that and hold it across the front, like this, and then push it. Ooh, where is it? Is that actually lit? Oh, it is lit, lit unfortunately. It's that dim. Yeah. Now, to set the time in this, because there's only one button, you have to press the button to bring the display up and then you hold it and then it will start flashing the digit 1 and um, it will AM or PM and you can increment it through the buttons then hold it again until it goes on to minutes and then you uh, press the button to increment minutes, hold it again then it goes through on to date and things like that. Now the construction um, inside is um, the, the, there's two plastic bits sandwiched together and the battery so um, let's uh, just pop this apart. I do not recommend opening these because the LEDs on the circuit board, as you'll shortly see, are pretty exposed. They're just bare chips as far as I can see. I haven't even tried holding my little microscope up to them because I don't want to, in case I actually burst the lead wires off them. Because once I lift this little circuit board out, lifting it straight up, or just uh, trying to get it out, carefully. You'll see it really is just the bare LEDs mounted directly onto the board with a single cob chip on board um, driving them and those two pads there they're um, shorted out by a captive piece of springy metal in here and on the back for the battery connections you've got the central connection um, and then a for the, uh, let's see if what's that, that's the negative is the central connection and then the outer positive connection here. And when you look at the battery holder, the, the battery clips out quite stiff but that's good in a way. When you put the battery in it presses against the side of it, the positive terminal presses against that spring and that makes a positive connection. The negative connection, if you wanted to change the cell in this and it's a CR2016 lithium cell, you'd have to actually peel this little label off because this little label here is an insulator but it also holds a little metal springy contact in the middle that is used to make connection with the connection on the board itself. So um, yeah, I wouldn't actually recommend um, taking it to parts I say, but if you want to change the battery you can change the battery just to take care of doing so. Note it is quite hard to get out. It, it snaps in very firmly though. I suppose the optical qualities of this aren't really improved by the fact that it's the light, um, what's the word best, light guide or reflector for this um, is black. 
And yeah, it kind of works. I mean, looking at the display, it's kind of visible and it just it gets diffused in this sort of, you get these in all different colours, including black and blue or green, which isn't going to pass an awful lot of light from the red light. But um, yeah, I can't help feeling that they could have, I don't know if using white would have actually caused bleed through between the sides, the, you know, between the segments or if, uh, the, you know, it would have been okay and just provided brighter digits. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to look at this a wee bit closer with the with the microscope. I'll, I shall do it and just describe. I think it's going to be the gold wires going straight on to LED chips. So I'm going to hover carefully above here. Yes, it is. They're round pads with the square chips bonded onto them and then the gold wire jumping directly across so it's all exposed and if you rub the front of this board it would almost certainly dislodge those little gold wires and your watch would be dead. It would lose segments straight away. It's cheap enough to buy a replacement but it's a shame to do that but it's really neat. The only components on it are the crystal, um, the cob and the um, LEDs. So I'm going to very carefully line those up at an angle with the little guide pillars so that I don't destroy this and drop it back down then clip that back together noting that the spring goes onto that pad And then the battery, that's slightly offset, it's not dead centre that pad, so I'd probably choose, that's maybe why the sticker in here is offset as well, so let's uh, click it in. And it really does click in, and suddenly the whole thing bursts into life and it looks like it's working. Yeah. Now, about the crystal. Most crystals in these things are very common. Is it 32768? I think it's 32768. 32.768? Let's uh, find that out. I think it's 32768 hertz, the crystal. And if you divide that by 2, uh, and keep dividing it by 2, hold on, uh, 32768 divided by divided by 2 I mean, is it going to be is it going to work yes it is it goes to it goes down in binary multiples until it gets to 1 hertz and that's why they choose that value the 32768 hertz because it's an exact binary dividable multiple to get down to the exact 1 hertz time base and they also take taps off beyond that point to do things like the um Oh, well that's because I was touching the crystal. Oh, that's interesting. don't know if that's a, a feature or just an oddity. Or if this just isn't quite clipped in firmly. Hmm. Make sure that's all snapped in tightly. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice enough wee thing. It was very cheap. And uh, it's nice that you can actually get into service it. Presumably once that's clipped back in, it'll hold back in together better. Or I might just have to re-explore it. Yeah, it looks alright. I can see it uh, lit there. Yep. Yeah, nice enough little toy and certainly worth spending a pound on.